I'm not sure about JPX. So I know Hammerheart has beef, obviously, in the loser side, and then I low think JPX KD3. I went Jigglypuff, Luigi, then Yoshi. Yeah, I don't know. I'm in, in any of his other sets if he's played any Pika. But he used yeah, to play Pika. Yeah, there was a Pika on screen because Z-Pad was definitely going Pika. But here we go. I think the last time Hammerheart and Josh Brody played each other might have been the last Snosa. Yeah, I believe Snosa. And yeah. I think Hammerheart won, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, I think Josh won. Did Josh but at, win? At, at the okay. end, I think so. Okay, or maybe but maybe Hammerheart won winners finals, but then Josh won grands potentially, or I might just yeah, be grands, fully mistaken. Grands. Yeah, these guys definitely uh, you know able to compete with each other. Hammerheart has what it takes, I'm sure, but he just needs to put it all together, and he needs to beat so many Pikachu players in a row. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. You did see Hammerheart go Pikachu uh, game four against Caleb, which he actually won the Pika ditto. So, honestly, maybe if this doesn't turn out too good for Hammerheart, we might see a switch. Yeah, his Pikachu is no joke, but obviously the ditto against Josh Brody. Totally yeah. different from against Caleb. Is that a thing? Uh, Pika mains never want to ditto Josh Brody? Well... <laughs> is, he, is he the guy in Pika dittos I, in America right now? I don't know about the guy, but he is very good. Uh, so you're saying it's a matchup that he prefers? Well, I just think if you're going to go with the same character against someone, you know, Josh being one of the best Pikachu players True. in the country, you know, the Pikachu ditto is very low variance. Whoever's the more skilled in that character is going to come out on top because yeah, there's so many point. interactions. Yeah. And you might not want to go for that hits. if you don't have those hours and hours of mastery that Josh has. Not that Hammerheart's not good with the character. But, but yeah, he obviously practices Kirby more than he does his Pika. Exactly. So. And yeah, he I catches guess. him with the down air here. Wow, I'm surprised that up tilt didn't hit there. Yeah, really smart by Josh to up E out immediately. And Josh has been having Ooh, pretty good edge guard so wow, far. Oh, he somehow wispy. missed it. Yeah, Wispy blew him off. Oh, I don't think that's a stock, but let's yeah, see. Let's see how Hammerheart tries to edge guard. He tries to go high, misses the back air, but that does land with the fast fall in there to take that stock. Hammerheart now with the uh, slight lead here. You can see those strong nares from Hammerheart. Hammerheart is just the absolute master of getting the strong nair in every oh, situation. Yeah. He's so good at it. Yeah, no, his reaction time is still really, really good. And yeah. he makes he makes Kirby just look like such a fluid character. Oh, yeah. He makes these old man jokes, you know, talk about how his bedtime is <laughs> 7 p.m. and all this. <laughs> well, which but is, he's which so is fast. Is. That was he's also crazy great fast. DI. Great DI there to go inwards on the stage instead of away. Yeah, no, another thing to watch for is Hammerheart loves to do fast fall aerials through the plats. Oh, oh yeah, Hammerheart, read. tons of jumps, but Josh Brody just calls him out. Yeah, the hard, hard read. Hard call out with that forward smash from Josh. I think he had been setting that up a little bit, and it finally played out. The up air from Ooh. ledge, not really safe with Kirby that low, but he makes wow. it work. Great edge guard from Josh. Let's see if he can finish it. And I think that's going to be it. Yep. Hammerheart doesn't even try to get back after that. Yeah, the neutral and the combos from Hammerheart looks really good, but those edge guards. Okay. Yeah, no, Josh looked really strong in his in his edge guard. Oh, see? So I was saying, I, I, uh, I was saying there's a chance we'll see Hammerheart pull out the Pika. But, uh, yeah, as yeah you were I saying, didn't expect Robert, to see it this fast. Yeah. I don't I, know. I think, I mean, that game was pretty close in my eyes, but I do feel like Hammerheart thought it would only get worse the more that set went on. I'm surprised so, Hammerheart had a lead for quite a while. Yeah, there. he did. He did when there was like three stocks apiece. I think at one point he had three stocks and Josh had two. But Yeah. But yeah, I mean, a good Pika could really uh, take Kirby stocks pretty quickly with the right edge guard. Oh, back air. Yeah, so Josh calls it out, manages yeah. to take the first stock here. Hammerheart, if you watch as Pikachu, he tends to be extremely aggressive. That's what I've noticed playing against him. He loves to get up right in his opponent's face and just abuse all of Pikachu's very Ooh. fast moves. Josh gets this tech chase here. Good DI yeah, from Hammerheart. Catches that up smash on the tech chase. Ooh. Wow, little spaghetti there. With, yeah, a, weird. with an F smash on top plat and then a zip zap straight down to the bottom of Dreamland. Yeah, you generally don't want to zip straight down like that because you get kind of this little bounce against the ground. Yeah, I've noticed that. And it gives that. you extra lag. 
Oh, is it does is it actually extra lag? I yeah, it'll sure take a lot that. longer than just landing if you go diagonally down. Ooh. Yeah, Hammerheart uh, definitely knows the exact amount of time he could stay on the ledge and still be uh, invulnerable. Josh finds that nice fair to up smash. Josh looking really yeah, good today. Re really strong right now from Josh Brody. So he's just going to try and build some percent here. It's difficult in the ditto when your opponent's very low because the amount of moves Ooh. he can use is limited. Nice jab grab, but it doesn't seal the stock. Yeah, can at he find this edge guard? Calls him out immediately. Calls so fast with reactions. Down air at side plat and then just an F smash. That should do it with the ledge grab. Yeah, maybe he didn't even need to there. We're seeing Hammerheart's reaction time is lightning quick. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and he survives invincibility here. Oh, that slow fall. Oh, There's such a good wow. mix up to get around the up tilt. Yeah, it was. Nice taking little, anything uh, more off it. Nice little forward forward air to Nair. Oh, man. Gets caught with the and up tilt to yeah, a Josh back air. Barely calls him out. Calls him out off the ledge. Has Hammerheart in the corner Ooh. here. Can he connect anything? Yeah, gets caught with the Nair right after that uh, forward air. Josh just knows the limits of these combos so well. And as soon as Ooh. Hammerheart stops with the true combo, Josh oh, immediately narrows right out, back. up he's out. He just hitting catches him with right the F smash. Back. Wow, F smash on side plat with Wispy blowing. That's crazy. Yeah, now Hammerheart has to be really thinking about what to do to win this set at this point. Yeah, the crazy thing is Hammerheart's not even playing bad. He's not no, really making he's mistakes. Not. He's had some but great reads. Josh is some just great so moves, polished. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Wow. Not the boss. Yeah, so, yeah. I say polished. I don't know if that was a hard read or maybe an input error. And Hammerheart has a chance here with Josh in the corner to find something. Needs to end this stock right now. Yeah, he on it. If he wants any chance to win in this game, he really can't afford to take any more damage here. There's a nice back air. That yeah, should do it. Yeah, fastball reverse back air takes it. And he's been doing a good job uh, during invincibility. Actually, he does get the first hit. Oh, almost starts a combo, but a weird turnaround F tilt. He can get oh. this tech chase here. Oh, oh no, drops it, but he gets it again. But wow, fair to back throw, just not enough. Yeah, missed Very that close. combo that might have killed, but. Oh man, it just can't get the edge guard. And Josh is now coming in with some up airs into a forward throw at the edge. Can Josh finish it? Oh. And Hammerheart just doesn't get back. So that's 2-0 Josh Brody, looking very, very dominant. Yes. This is uh, this is some of the most dominant Josh Brody I've, I've seen in a while. Yeah, he is playing absolutely fantastic. Perfect. Hammerheart. Almost zero mistakes. Yeah, really. Other there than those one couple is forward a weird smashes, smash, yeah. But like three out of the four F smashes just hit. All right, so let's see. It's stay. It's going to stay. It's going to stay a Pika ditto. Hammer, Hammerheart coming out aggressive again to start. There's a nice little runoff Nair. Calls him out, and Josh yeah, misses, misses that up B. his up B angle. Don't Very see that too often from Josh. From yeah. Josh. He's usually really good at those angles. That's his main mix-up he kind of relies yeah, on that, to that get back. Yeah, that kind of downward angled uh, angle. And he kind of sweet spots, sweet spots the ledge there. Yeah, it's much harder to cover as Pikachu than it looks. You're trying to cover those upward angles, and he just goes right under you. Hammerheart grabbing a ledge, playing this safe. Up till, up till Hammerheart tries to up B, but Josh already knew that he was going yeah, to top Yeah, he knows that there. angle. Yep. For sure. He started moving a top plat before that up B even really came out. And yeah, and that's the thing about, you know, playing the Pika Ditto against a guy who's that's been playing this matchup for years and years. That's true. Hammerheart starting these combos, but so far hasn't been able to finish them. Just yeah, gets the percent. you haven't really seen like an offstage carry from Hammerheart yet. Yeah, he's getting these nice little one and two piece yeah. combos. But nothing. Uh, Not the full meal. Ooh, nice. I like it. Just a fast fall down air at the ledge catches him before he could sweet spot it. Yeah, knows he can survive it. Ooh. Good DI from Hammerheart to get away there. Oh, that Is he gonna jump get on safe, Ooh. not safe, but yeah, Josh hard reads with that up smash. Yeah, a little Can't make it work. aggressive if you ask me, Robert. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. It felt a little too confident, maybe. Yeah. Oh, it just oh. calls him out with the down tilt. Wow. Wow, and a weird hitbox on that on that up smash at the ledge. Another up smash. Yeah, so this, into this a reverse up smash is really powerful for edge guarding because the weak Ooh. hit doesn't send your opponent very high at all. Yeah, so, so you even if they're at a high percent, you can always right get the back air. Yeah. yeah. 
It's very powerful, and if they get the strong hit, obviously they just die. But yeah, Josh uh, ended up sweet spotting the ledge with that down up angle, and uh, still still hanging on to the stock. I think that might be a stock right there. So Josh Brody brings it back to two apiece, but at 115, uh, not really too safe. Yeah, so what Josh is really looking for here is a grab. Then he can start the chain grab and build up a ton of damage. And he oh, finds and it, he gets him on the side plat. He's going to tech chase again. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Hammerhart had enough time to get in shield and got the push off. And Ooh, there's just the grabs grab. him right out of the air. Oh, Hammerhart. Both or, of them laughing. Yeah, Josh got his 45%, but can't get any more before he loses the stock. And now it's Hammerhart's trying to build up damage. Instant up the out from Josh. Great awareness. Wow. Instant ledge cancel to top platform. Completely turning that situation around. And now Hammerheart building up so much damage here. Up airs again can't finish the combo, but he builds up so much damage. He might not need to. Ooh. Ooh another SD. Yeah, bad angle from Hammerheart there. That just shows that he's not as polished as Josh. Once you start missing Pika angles like that, it's, uh, it could be a rough outing as a Pika player. Yeah, but Josh is at 106. He has so many options for what will kill. Yeah, or just one clean edge guard here from Hammerheart. Could get him on the board in this game. Gets Ooh, hit with the back here, chasing in the corner. Let's see how Josh tries to edge guard. Oh, interesting. Wow, extremely direct up B. Yeah. Up B's right at him. Says, you won't hit me. I mean, it kind of worked out in his favor. And there yeah, it is. Hammer just Hammerheart calls him out with one. the Nair. He gets on the board in the Pika ditto. I don't think anyone was expecting this from Hammerheart. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know Hammerheart had what it takes to take a game, but probably didn't expect it to be in the Pika ditto, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's possible we'll see a top four of all Pikachus at this rate. It might just be down to KD3 to bring out the Falcon and go to town. So Hammerheart obviously sticking with the Pikachu now that he's made it work. And uh, might have to make some adjustment. Hammerheart's aggression can be really difficult to deal with. Uh, you wouldn't expect that from a Kirby player, but he just gets all on top of nah, you. I mean, yeah, Hammerheart is a veteran, man. He's been good at this game for so long now. Yeah, it's starting just, out uh, online with uh, Puff and Samus. He's he hasn't, working his uh, way. He just hasn't competed in as many tournaments as someone like Josh Brody, but I think it's kind of safe to say his skill levels are definitely comparable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean... It's the sort of thing where as soon as you play against Hammerheart, even a minute in, you're like, okay, this guy is this guy is world class. He's he, so world fast. class He's is, so is fast. the exact wording I would use because it's just like no matter what you throw at him, he knows exactly what to do to counter it. He and look at that, that approach to back air. Hammerheart takes the first stock. Momentum, uh, pretty much in his favor so oh, far here. Nice combo there, but Josh, as always, knows how to get out of these. Anytime you give Josh an inch, anytime you drop the combo just for a few frames, he's out of there. He knows oh, exactly yeah. what he needs oh, to do yeah. to deal with these scramble situations. So you need to do everything clean. No, I mean, it's one, in my opinion, one of Pika's strongest. Uh, oh, he, but he wow. misses the up B. Wow, another missed up B from Josh. You it's just don't see to that too apart often. For Josh here, but down two, two stops. Yeah, two, two games in a row, he just missed the ledge. Um, definitely not how you want to see stocks taken, but here we go. Hammerheart is ahead, but that's all right. Three stocks to two, zero percent. Hammerheart coming off the Halo plat here. Yeah, the thing about this matchup is you get so many different interactions. So Josh will have plenty of chances to prove himself the better player if he truly is. Yeah, it's, if he that's can... true. And Hammerheart has oh, not Pika proven yet Hammerheart. that he can really zero to death Josh Brody. It's kind of just a lot of chunk damage and then like a big back air. Yeah, these little combos. But Josh, oh, able to find more. Wow, um, finds what a grab, grab. And that'll kill at 70. I don't know how that down air didn't hit, but well done by Josh Brody. Hammerheart Let's finds a couple. See. Can he keep this going? Wow. Oh, turns great around, tech. but he hard reads the tech away instead of trying to cover it. And now we got the reverse situation. Hammerheart up being out too quick. Missing <laughs> some Z cancels here. Oh, he goes man. For the... What a great angle from Josh Brody. Yeah. I, I felt like that up smash was actually timed really well, but. 
Yeah, it was just like a incredibly. perfect angle. This, the vulnerability from Josh was so minimal that even with that great up smash, it doesn't work. And suddenly Josh, with his second stock, might take the lead. Might take three stocks back Ooh. to back to back. Yeah, that's a dark horse is the other stream. Yeah, so in the bottom left, you can you can see it. It's tough. They're focused on the match. Oh, all right. And Hammerheart, so Hammerheart turning to the S again, smash. Again, has the, uh, has the advantage here. Not by much, but it's something. Calling him out with the fair. Can he build up any percent, or are we going to see... A sec essentially 0% last stock on both sides. Yeah, I mean, Josh Grody's kind of ragdolling him around at this point, but gra great recovery. The thing is, in this matchup, once you get the grab at low percents, it can turn into so much oh, damage, yeah. but, but Josh finds pretty, the back Yeah, there. pretty dead even now. Yeah, this is exactly oh, even. Will we see a game ooh, five? Ooh. Okay, oh, good, good escape from I don't Hammerheart. think he meant to do that second up B, but... But it was okay. He was pretty safe distance away from Josh there. Very well, hops out of the corner, gets out of pressure. Let's see, one big opening from either of these guys could oh, be Oh, calls it. him out with the fair. This is big, runs oh, up, gets the grab. Oh, I think he's living, but it's gonna be a tough recovery from such Hammer a bad position. here. Josh calling him out, 108. Oh, oh, what is that? What a weird angle from Hammerheart. Yeah, bizarre, and he but he gets the ledge cancel and up he's out. Wow, way to survive, and defense. now Josh needs to. What's going on? Oh, wow. Can Hammerheart close this edge guard out? Wow. Yeah, he what has a the, ledge the tempo advantage here, but he's so high in percent. Yeah, almost, I think, a strong nair back air kills here. Yeah, downside at the ledge. This is probably it. No, he somehow oh, gets back. Wow, Hammerheart staying alive here. The nair yeah, is. Josh, Josh calls him out with the bear. seals it. Thank you. And Josh Brody seals it in the Pikachu, though, but yeah, 3-1.